The Aiken County Historical Museum will come alive. Today on the front page, we learn more about the spooky tales and tours. Expect to be uh, slightly frightened and as well as learn all about Aiken County's history and all about some of the haints, if you will, that haunt the county itself. This is called our Banksia After Dark Spooky Tales program. Well, honestly, we, we get asked because we're in an old house, we get asked a lot if we're haunted. And, um, and as someone who has always worked at an historic house museum, that is probably the number one question that we get asked. And um, we're not haunted, um, but you know, we have, all sorts of people have told us that they've heard a piano playing or you know, they've heard different things here in the museum. And so, so it's, it's really interesting because sometimes people will come here expecting to have a little encounter, a, a ghostly encounter, and then, and, and some people have had their own ghostly encounter before they even get here and they're ready to tell us about it. But we wanted to kind of take the, the um, legends and the, you know, the more sordid side of history and bring that to the public because most people, you know, when you, when you learn about history, you learn about facts and dates and you memorize things and, and you may get a good, a good clean story occasionally, but that's really not what history was. It's not, it wasn't clean and pretty and neat. And so we are presenting that side of history for you and hopefully in, in an entertaining and slightly spooky way. The, the characters that come and play these, these ghosts and specters from Aiken's past, these are all volunteers from, from the area. Uh, we do have one woman that's driving in from Charleston to come and, and portray a spirit, um, and uh, someone from Columbia to come. And so what we've done this year is on Friday, October 11th, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., uh, those are the 21 and over tour, because we are giving you spirits as well with your your tour. Uh, so you can come and you'll have two drink tickets and refreshments. And uh, so that is for, for 21 and up. Then on Saturday, October 12th, from the same time from seven to nine, um, that is the 12 and up tour. And it is not so scary that um, the, hopefully no one will have nightmares, um, but it does get bloody on Friday night. And we have had an incident of um, blood squirting across the, the floor onto a couple of the, the, the participants. From the characters all the way to the, the people that clean up after the event, everyone has a wonderful time. And then, in fact, on uh, Sunday, we're continuing our spooky weekend. And on Sunday, the 13th at 2 p.m., we're having a talk by Jean Marie Bronson, and she is doing a talk called History in Headstones. Happy Halloween, love Hollywood. We'll be back after a quick commercial break. Everyone's a welcome guest at Crescent Automotive. We're Aiken's Choice Award winner four years in a row. That probably has a lot to do with our low upfront windshield pricing and no additional processing fees. Remember, everybody drives Crescent. You should too. Welcome back to the front page. Women's Wellness on Wheels. Local breast cancer survivor is bringing mammography unit to Aiken. Read reporter Christina Rackley's story for more details. Game on! The game of the week is Swansea at Strom Thurmond. Tune into the game Friday on the Aiken Standard YouTube or on the website. Indie Author Day coming to Aiken. The free event, part of a national program, will begin at 10 a.m. on Saturday at the Aiken County Public Library. To read more about these stories, please visit AikenStandard.com. My name is Michelle A. Jackson, and I will see you next time on the front page.